Hello students, welcome back. Let's have a look at the next question. So the next question is a numerical from light chapter, particularly convex lens. So let's understand what the question is. It says we have an observation table and it shows the variation of image distance with object distance in case of a convex lens. And uh, we have to solve some questions without doing any calculations. Okay. So what are the questions? We have to find out the focal length of this convex lens and we have to give reason for our answer. Okay. And then we have to find the serial number of that observation which is not correct and that also we have to justify. Thirdly, we have to find out the, uh, we have to draw the ray diagram and uh, it's for serial number two and we have to find out the value of magnification. Okay. So let's start. Before we come to the question, let us have a look at the ray diagrams first because it's very important to understand the ray diagram image formation to be able to solve this question. So here I have the ray diagrams for the image formation in case of a convex lens. So here you can see as the object was at infinity. So when it was at infinity, the image was formed at, two, F, at F2, sorry, at F2. And when the object was brought closer to the lens, the image got shifted to the right. That is, it moved far away here. Now, as the object was brought a little more nearer to the op uh, this uh, lens, optical center of this lens, and uh, now it's at 2f1. So, the image was also formed at 2f2. Now, on taking the object further close towards the lens, you see the image got further shifted towards the right. And thus we see that the as we go on decreasing the object distance, the image distance goes on increasing. So now let's come back to the table. Here you see the object was at 100. The image was formed at 25 centimeter. Now we decreased the object distance to 60 centimeter the image distance increased to 30. Now, object distance when it was at 40, the image was formed at 40. Okay, this is the case where object is at 2f1 and the image is formed at 2f2. So, both the distances are the same. Now, when the object distance was 30 centimeter, the image distance was 60 centimeter. It again increased. Then, when it was at 25, the image distance was 100. That's fine. So here we see that the image distance goes on increasing as the object distance goes on decreasing. Now how to find out the focal length? Now see in this case number 3. So this is a case when the object is at 2f1. The image distance or image is formed at 2f2. It means that when the object is at 2f1. With the distance 2f1 is nothing but c1. So, c1 is the center of curvature. So, the object at 2f1 means the object is at center of curvature and that object, the center of curvature is at a distance of r from the optical center. r is the radius of curvature. So, distance c1 o is nothing but the radius of curvature. So, this distance is 40 minus 40 and if it is at minus 40 the image will be formed at 40 centimeter from the optical center which is plus 40. So from this we know that if the object is at c1 the minus 40 distance is nothing but the radius of curvature and we know that focal length is half of the radius of curvature. So radius of curvature is r 40 centimeter. So focal length is r by 2 which is 20 centimeter. Now, because it's a convex lens, so the image, uh, the focal length will be positive. So, it is plus 20. So, focal length is to plus 20. We did it without doing any calculation. This is part A. Now, part B, write the serial number for that observation, which is not correct. Okay. Now, all these are correct. Now, when we come to the question number, the serial number 6, you see here the object distance is 15 centimeter, minus 15 centimeter. That means if we look at the ray diagram, you see here the focal length is 20. So this is 20. Now object distance is 15. It means that the object is placed between F1 and O. 
Now, if we draw the ray diagrams for this, one ray goes parallel to the principal axis. After refraction, it passes through F2. Another ray passes through the optical center undeviated. In order to get the image for this object, we have to retrace these rays backwards and we see that they meet at this point A dash B dash and the image is a virtual image and it's formed on the same side as the object. That means the image is formed to the left of the lens which means that this is the image distance and it was supposed to be in negative. Okay, but here you see for the serial number 6, the image distance is given as positive. So, this is wrong because the image, so what do we write for the conclusion? We say that the uh, object is situated between F1 and O and for that the image distance should be in negative because it's formed on the same side as the object. But here it's given as plus 120, so this is the wrong observation then so here we write uh, write the serial number which is wrong so it's serial number six then come to the third one so for the third one we have to draw the ray diagram for observation number two so for observation number two we have the object distance u is minus 60 centimeter and v is plus 30 and focal length we know it's 20 centimeter. So, since focal length is 20, f is f1 is uh, 20. So, 2 f1 will be 40. So, let us find out the magnification. So, magnification here will be v by u. So, v is 30 and u is minus 60. So, it is minus 1 by 2 which is minus 0 0.5. So, we have the magnification as minus 0 0.5. Now, the minus sign indicating that it is a real image and real image means it is an inverted image. And 0 0.5 indi is indicating that the image is diminished. Okay, That means it is smaller in size than the object. So, if we have a magnification which is 1, then the image is of same size as the object. If magnification is less than 1, the image is diminished. Okay, And if magnification is greater than 1, the image is enlarged. So, here we have the final answer that the magnification is 0 0.5 or 1 by 2. So, I hope you have understood this. Thanks for watching.